This is Sido. Welcome to KatiaTutorialCat.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, tips that you need before and after Katia V5 install. And we're going to go through them very quickly. Uh, I mean, I know that this, this information you may already know, but and maybe it's boring, it's not that in interesting, or but I, I already know that, but I just have to go through it uh, before we start our uh, Katia training. I mean, I know that some people that is interested to know also, I believe. So now I some people are wondering where and how they can get Katia V5. Now, if you are a student, you are good to go. You can just go ahead and get your Katia uh, student version that uh, is provided on campus. Uh, 3ds.com student download software this website here you go there and you get your license and of course you have to be student eligible for it and it's only $75 by the way and if you think this is too much $75 well let me tell you this the regular license the, the regular license that the companies buy okay they pay $10,000 to $15,000 per seat okay so $75, I don't think it's expensive. So that's really a good deal. The whole system is giving you, if you're a student, it's giving you like a gift. Just telling you, here you go. Just go ahead and learn. And if you like it, hopefully in the future you buy the biggest, the big license. You know what I mean? So it's kind of advertising thing. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. Okay. So now you will go campus3ds.com right there. Okay, you go there, then you go down here, download, download, student edition, once you go there, then just go click on Katia, click on Katia, then you see $75 right there, you can go ahead and purchase, uh, you can follow through, everything is going to be there, all the information, and it's very important, by the way, very important that you go to this area support you will find all the information the installation how you purchase some frequent questions uh, as uh, answered there uh, download the information now uh, step by step how to download and how you can request the license how you can get your target ID all that information you will be finding in here so make sure you go here okay all right let's go back now so now all uh, right so before you purchase you need to know the following before you buy anything, check if you have the right computers, the right hardware through going in 3ds.com. Okay, hold on, let me go there. Okay, this is 3ds.com right there. You go there and then support hardware certification. Once you go there and you check, let's go. This is a certified information Unix and Windows. Let's go to certified work, uh, workstation for Windows. <coughs> you have a XP and you have a Vista I highly recommend highly highly recommend if you can get Windows XP that's the best okay I know it's kind of an old right now and that's what you need that's good for Katia Vista has a lot of problems with Katia so I wouldn't go there. but if you already have it make sure you have one of these machines right there if you do then you are good to go all right all right now if you don't have any this machines listed in here if you don't have it and you have something different well by the way if you click there you will see all the information like you see graphic information what kind of processor I mean this kind of information and maybe some drivers if you need okay so now it's very important that graphic adapter if you don't have the exact computer at least make sure you have I mean just a recommendation but I mean if you don't have the what is there and you cannot buy this and you have a different machine make sure at least you have this graphic uh, adapters because Katia is so sensitive okay make sure you have that all right now <clears throat> also you can go to this website just just write it down or you can go there you can find some prerequisite and some summary information what you need you know some read about it and get that machine before you are you buy the product otherwise you will be complaining a lot okay okay so now <clears throat> then you install so you are eligible to student you made your order and you get everything you just install it all the step step all by step by step it's gonna be in this uh, on this here 
website campus3ds.com I showed you before you go there and you get it and make sure you follow the default values when you're doing the installation and there is a reason that's a good thing to do and I'll tell you why okay on next video maybe on next video I will talk about some frequent question answered maybe you may not find I mean there's a lot of frequent answered in the uh, on that support uh, campus 3 dscom that I just showed you before you may find that but maybe some of this you may not find it so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that and I'm gonna tell you next video also some quick tips self troubleshooting problems I mean some people they would just freak out you know once they install things oh what's going on it doesn't work I cannot find this blah blah I'll show you some quick things that you may help you out to start it alright so see you next video see you then bye